Uh, thank you, uh, Nabia, and to uh, my distinguished colleagues. Uh, my name is Reverend Osaji Foseku. I am the Bayard Rustin Fellow with the Fellowship of Reconciliation, the nation's oldest interfaith peace organization celebrating 100 years of engaging in nonviolent civil disobedience uh, in America and abroad. I want to lift up our activities on this coming Monday, August 10th, a moral Monday where we are calling on the community of conscience around the country to engage in acts of civil disobedience to lift up a need for federal intervention on questions of police brutality and systematic racism. We call on the community of conscience to be committed to militant nonviolent civil disobedience while raising these questions and creating the moral drama that the nation's conscience might be pricked. The question before us is, does the nation still have a conscience and the jury is still out? Also, I want to note that what is particular and unique about this moment uh, in history that Ferguson represents the longest rebellion against police brutality in the history of the country, that it is second only to Montgomery in terms of a community taking to the streets daily to articulate their humanity. It is three months longer than the Selma campaign, and it is the first time since the Civil War that everyday people have set the political agenda for our nation. And so we ask that the community of conscience might engage in important various acts targeting specific uh, spaces in order to lift up a national mandate that includes legislation uh, to stop the militarization of policing and uh, the end of police brutality. And then lastly, we call upon you, the media, as the fourth estate whose responsibility is to hold accountable the other estates of the government and to make sure that elites and suzerains and those in power are held accountable. And so as you begin to tell the story of these young people, that you will emphasize the fact that they have been predominantly nonviolent for nearly a year, that they have lobbied the president and local officials that they have fed the homeless and the hungry, and that they have engaged in the best of the democratic tradition, and that you will not focus on sensationalized forms and activities, but rather lift up the humanity of young people. Thank you.